हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई दिशा मेहतानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी इंस्टरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई विल डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन एलविडिटी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज एलविडिटी एलविडिटी इज लीनियर वेरिएबल डिफरेंशियल ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज अ वेरी बेसिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट ट्रांसड्यूसर इट इज वेरी यूजफुल इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन फील्ड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑपरेशन दिस वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑपरेशन इट ऑपरेट ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस इन विच दिस एलविडिटी कन्वर्ट्स द डिस्प्लेसमेंट विच इज अ नॉन इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी इन टू इट्स कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वांटिटी द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द एलविडिटी इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सिलेंड्रिकल फॉर्मर इन विच आयरन फॉर इज प्लेस्ड इन द सेंटर विच कैन बी मूव इन इन टू एंड फ्रोम मोशन बेसिकली इट Uh, the uh, one side of the core, uh, one side of the core is surrounded by the primary winding at the center and the secondary winding s1 and s2 are at the sides of the former uh, 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 these number of turns of the s1 and s2 are equal but they are in opposite direction uh, suppose if s1 is uh, in uh, S1 is in uh, clockwise direction, then S2 will be in anti-clockwise direction. Now, working of LVDT. As I said, it based on the principle of mutual inductance. When primary side of the LVDT is excited by a voltage, a uh, voltage can be 5 to 12 volt and a frequency of 50 to 200 hertz. Then the there will be induced current in the primary winding. Then this induced current will induce a variable flux in the secondary winding. Thus, there will be a voltage V1 across S1 and a voltage V2 across S2. And the net voltage will be the voltage difference between the two secondary windings. Now, let us study the working of the LVTT dividing into its three modes. Now, case one. When we apply a force on the core we apply a force on the core and the core will not the core will not move from its position it will remain its position at null position then the output voltage of of the two secondary windings will be equal the net output voltage will be es1 minus es2 equals to zero the net output voltage will be zero case two when we apply a force on the core and the core will move in the left hand side of the winding then the voltage induced in the secondary winding s1 will be greater than the secondary winding uh, s2 then the output voltage will be es1 minus es2 uh, the case 3 is that when the force on the core uh, core is applied and the core will move in the right hand side of the direction then the second and uh, then the voltage in secondary winding will be greater than the voltage in secondary s1 then the net output voltage will be es2 minus es1 this were the working of the lvdt now there are some advantages of the lvdt these are high linearity high efficiency uh, and low hysteresis <laughs> there are some disadvantages of uh, disadvantages also these are we require some we require high uh, displacement to uh, to gain high voltage uh, the application of the lvdt is that uh, application of lvdt is that we can measure the displacement of uh, in fraction of millimeters to centimeters Uh, thank you for watching the video as yes, you can log on to www.gurukpu.com